Continuing our coverage now of the Kansas missionary jailed in Haiti. He and nine others face kidnapping charges after trying to take 33 Haitian children out of the country. We're now learning of a note slipped to NBC News in which some of the missionaries claim a division within that group, saying most had no idea of the adoption plan before volunteering. It's a complicated issue that one Wichita knows of firsthand. He's been to Haiti 23 times and was once offered to leave with a child. KSN's Jason Kraverik reports. My feeling would be that um, they didn't understand what they were doing. Sam Meiskins of Wichita watching closely the developments in Haiti as 10 missionaries remain jailed for the alleged kidnap of 33 Haitian children. 16 years ago, Meiskins too had a choice, face to face with a Haitian mother who offered him her child. The mother was so emaciated that she was dying of starvation and the little baby was only skin and bone. The dire conditions led to an unthinkable moment, a mother facing life or death for a child she couldn't raise. And the mom looked up first at the friend who spoke Creole and said, if only we had food, I could save this baby. And then she looked to me and she said, would you take this baby so the baby can live? Meiskins did not. Instead, he helped the family and many others get the resources they needed. Today, he follows that family's progress for Global Faith in Action, a relief organization he helped to found. Meiskins says what happened to him all those years ago is likely repeated today as devastation grips Haiti. There is no way that we can know whether a child that is now roaming around or out, outside of their family, or even if it is a family member, as my experience was, whether or not those children would not be still better within their own family. Either way, those 10 missionaries, including one from Topeka, are charged with kidnapping, a judge refusing to release them Saturday until the case is resolved. While Meiskin supports what he calls their good intentions, he hopes the controversy subsides and the focus returns to Haitians in need. And, and there's so much hope for Haiti, and we don't want something like this to cause people to doubt whether or not the work that is now being done in Haiti can't be expanded more and more. That was Jason Kraverick reporting. Meanwhile